So guys, Steve again from RC Tanks and Trucks 24-7. Yes, I have another tank. This time it's the German Panther Type G 1.6 scale, 2.4 gigahertz main battle tank from Henglong. And this one also has the newest uh, 7.1 board. Now the King Tiger, the T-34, the Panther, and of course the Tiger 1 are all my favourite tanks. And I haven't, well I've had a Panther before, but I haven't had one in a long time. And I'm going to be keeping this one because I do love the Panther tank. Definitely one of my favourites. Now this one does have uh, metal drive wheels and also metal tracks. If you're interested, go check out the link down below like always. So it's got obviously suspension, real smoke, shoots airsoft uh, pellets, flashlights, gun barrel goes up and down and also turret rotates. And it does have realistic sound. So it's pretty sweet. Henlong, in my opinion, are probably Henlong and Toro are probably one of the best value. You can get Tamiya tanks, but they cost a lot more. Um, they are really good quality. But hang along, there's a lot of aftermarket parts. The quality has definitely improved massively. And also, you can upgrade them really cheap and easily. So it says, like, you know, you can pause it there if you want. But it's just basically saying the Panzer German medium tank deployed during World War II on the eastern and western fronts in Europe from mid-1943 to the world's end in 1945. And apparently it was, it was intended to counter, you know, the Russian awesome T-34, which were made in droves and there was heaps and heaps and heaps of them so if we look here on the on here we can see the different versions here yeah, we've got the metal drive wheels and the metal uh, tracks as well so that's pretty sweet let's not waste too much time I'll open it all up and we'll slide it out so that's how they come packaged and they do a really good job lately it's got a metal metal barrel there as well but the packaging is is heaps better nowadays and uh, you got, could obviously have bad luck during shipping, but uh, generally it's been pretty good with me. So here is your 2 4 transmitter. You've got to put on the little sticks later on. These have uh, been around for a while. Obviously, they've been upgraded a little bit with the internals, but for what you get, they are pretty good. Next up here, we have our 6mm bullets. They go, if it's performing well, it's in, you've got a good unit. They can go up to 25 metres. But, uh, you know, it's not, that, it's not that bad for what it is. Your basic USB charger. Now under this little box, I'll show you that in a second, you have your infrared unit. So that's cool, you can battle with the tanks, that's the whole point of these. And these are your accessories. Now you have like, you know, the commander and all that kind of stuff, the accessories you put on the side of the tank. And this is where they've also upgraded and made big changes considering how they used to look. Like the painting and stuff is much better nowadays. There's your sticks for the controller in there. But how they painted certain things and stuff like that, like the tools, show you just there. It's much better now. See, it's got actually three colours. You've got wooden for the handle, black for the metal, and you've got a little bit of strap there, green strap on the actual tool itself. So, you know, they've done a good job. And also, like I said, you can just weather these to your heart's content if you want. From a stock kit coming out of the box with great uh, camo like that, I think it looks great. You know, you could obviously airbrush yourself. You could do a better job. You could not. Not sure, but you can just add a bit of uh, weathering on top of that, dry brushing, and um, I think it'll look, you know, like a wash. I think that'll look really cool. But let me get the tank out of the uh, foam. There we go. Oops. Got a little switch here, so these hatches do work. Nice, so the on and off switch. This is really cool. Does this one work? Nope. So just this one works, but that's nice. Better than nothing, so get rid of that later. Up here you have your commander's hatch. There we go, that's where you plug in your little infrared switch there if you want. The unit itself. But all these holes is where you pressure fit all those extra parts. I'll do that off camera in a second. Just have a quick look around the tank before. I love these exhausts, very iconic on top of them. And um, I've tried to get as much foam as I can off, but it sticks like glue. Switch around this way. Yeah, these don't uh, open, but at least that one at the front does. But like I said, they've come a definitely a long way. And let me know what you your favourite tank is from Henlong in their arsenal. Like I said, the King Tiger, I just said, I'll leave a little card up there. That was awesome. Got a metal barrel here. Nice, nice and protected. Got your light at the front just here and your machine gun. We have to push that in later on. There we go. Nice metal tracks. Obviously, they'll look better if they were weathered up. We have a metal drive wheel, as you can see at the front. You have a metal idler wheel as well, and a nice set of metal tracks. And I believe tanks should at least have metal tracks just for the weight. Problem with metal tracks, though, 
if you have the old like the zinc gearboxes or you're running in grass you're gonna definitely have problems on a strain on the gearbox what I might do I'm gonna open it up before I put the parts on and I'll show you inside the tank and let's have a look at those gearboxes as well okay five screws hold on upper hole to the lower hole lift it up carefully and we can have a look at the inner workings of a Henlong tank basically all tanks are very similar to this so here we have our gear boxes now the new gear bo uh, boxes I can see are actually covered in that nice shroud which is good to see so that plastic shroud so you know obviously it keeps the noise in a little bit but stops anything getting in there so there's your left and right gear boxes for your left and right track your new speakers your TK 7.0 board and this is your smoke system now the one on the King Tiger went off really well and you can use baby oil if you want to um, you know change the fluid because all you need to do is stick a little syringe in there and you pour fluid in there so hopefully this is the same one up here you have your turret rotation motor so it spins it left and right I think 320 degrees and here is your gun elevation motor which I think it goes up 20 degrees and down 20 degrees you know thereabouts but that's it and also in there so that's your unit itself and there is also the BB firing mechanism but that's it that's inside of a tank they're very similar we'll see how these gearboxes hold up but yeah that's it so I like to show you guys inside the tanks to see what's in them and this box is the battery from underneath so I'm going to put this down oh, here is your the lights so LEDs for your front lamp up here your machine gun as well so that's nice it's got a little bit of extra detail and your on and off switch just here okay cool I'll lock a deck down and then what I'll do I'll put those all those like accessories on and then we'll go through the tank itself looking good now check out that so all the parts are on the wheel covers into weaved wheels that the uh, field crew absolutely loved into sarcasm there so for example to get this wheel off in the field you need to get these two outer wheels off and then you can get that one on or off sorry but there we go close up there's your metal driving wheels metal tracks idler spare tracks on the side your spare tools Running around here you've got your your jack at the back as well so nice details like I said tow shackles exhausts and uh, we'll fire it up soon so you can see that all happening all these separately applied uh, handles this rail up here the gun more hooks and handles and tow rope more tools on this side as well and even this part for example this steel cable is the second part so it goes over there then it clips on there we go another set of tracks you got your lock gun lock for when you're traveling or travel lock I believe it's called another guard here and also your machine gun that's in store just these are all pressure fit and you can rotate this as well there's your lights or shackles at the front and that's it. the only thing happened with this kit is this little uh, mount or where you actually attach the tow rope snapped off I'll try to look for it see if I can glue it but I can't find it this one just here but no big deal I run one without a tow rope on one side but that is it for that I forgot to mention you also do get this battery it is of size 1800 milliamps 7.4 volts an extensive instruction manual on how to use it and how to for example store the battery where to put all the parts install the BB bullets which just go up here just in there I've loaded a few up for our demonstration purposes and I like how it's spring loaded so when you tip the tank over turn it off that just doesn't open up BB's roll out so nice instruction manual also instruction manual here for the TK7 board as well all that kind of cool stuff but uh, they all plug it in I'll uh, set it up and let's fire it up for its first run okay controller is on let's turn the tank on close the hatch ready to go the light is flashing now to start it you push this little lock button and on this particular on the, on the 7 I know there's only two sound sets which is weird but you can change it, you can turn the smoke on and off as you can see it push your smoke button here do that push these two buttons together to change the sound set the other one's like a I'll show you it's like the Abrams I believe so it doesn't really suit this tank so we'll do that again we'll change it back 
Also to note on the back of the uh, battery tray is a little cheat sheet if you ever get lost on how to use it all. So push this back. Here we go there. And same controls, push forward on the uh, right stick, back, goes forward and backwards, left and right. The left stick is for your turret and it's it's proportional, so you touch a little bit and it goes slow, push it more, it goes faster. Pretty cool. Same as with the elevation. See? Really nice. This button here is a machine gun and I'll just show it around so you can see it. It's in a machine gun. And you push and hold this together, so Push, push this one and hold it, it'll shoot the BB. Here it's flying around the garage. But really nice control. This, um, there you can see the smoke system working there. It's hard to see on the camera, but it's working. And it's, it, um, if you give it more throttle, it actually pumps out more. It's hard to see there, but it does. It certainly has a punch, this... The, I'll show you. Let's just aim it for this. Obviously, it's in front of it. But, it works pretty well. Not bad, that's harder than the uh, T-34 that I have. Let me put it on the ground so I can show you a little bit easier. Alright, on the ground. Push it. Pissing down rain at the moment. the uh, track tension as you see that right track's a little bit tight so I'm going to adjust that later on but nice proportional movements you can adjust the volume as well yeah you hold G and the lights will change just like that volume is also hold V down and you do that that's our max volume Considering what it used to come from, it sounds awesome. That is the smoke unit. If you just, you can just turn it off. Push this. There we go. The one on the King Tiger was better. It's quieter as well. Not bad. Let me know what you guys think. I'll, um, it's just crappy weather outside, but yeah, awesome. Another great tank from Hanglong. They come such a long way. Um, yeah, and they still have a good price, and you can get so many options for them as well. So I'm glad that they came out in the market. This and Toro, and uh, some other manufacturers as well, because to me, they're the I still think it's some of the best, but they are also expensive. So if you like the video, give it a good old thumbs up. If you have this and done any mods, let me know. And if you um, interested in it, links down below to go buy it for yourself and check it out. Cheers, guys.